Hi everybody. I know it's been a while, but I thought I would do another video on some knots that I like. Uh, I'm going to do one on three different knots. These are adjustable loops. I've done some fixed loops, and uh, I really like the adjustable loops because they hold in place uh, like a fixed loop would, but then you can adjust them to make them longer or shorter uh, for different purposes. And I want to kind of show about uh, those three knots. These three are all very similar in structure. So uh, what I'm going to do is show you how to tie, first of all, uh, the taut line hitch. This is what they typically would teach in Boy Scouts, uh, and uh, it's uh, not that you would tie around a tent stake and then the other end to, say, a tent uh, pole, and then when you tighten or uh, make the, the loop larger, it takes up some of the rope on the other end and makes that tighten down so that you could secure what you're trying to tighten. So let me show you how to tie that. I'm going to take my end of my rope and go across my uh, loop. Hello, Muggsy. Here's my kitty. And uh, then we're going to uh, make a loop around there, make a coil around the, the standing end of the rope, which is this end. And uh, then I'm going to make another one. I want to give myself a little bit more line. So let's start over here. I'm going to round and make a coil around there. And then I'm going to go around a second time. And you can see uh, there's like three pieces of rope going over the uh, going over there. It's two, two full turns around. Now the next time I'm coming around the rope, but I'm coming around it above the knot like on the side towards the standing end and then just tuck that on through and then tighten that up and make it neat I'm going to flip it over this way so you can see it from this side it makes it a little easier uh, to see how it looks dressed and now this is the taut line hitch and if I pull on this rope and I'm putting some pretty good weight on it you can see it's not sliding but yet, if I want to take that and make this loop bigger, all I gotta do is just grab, and that loop gets bigger, and as it gets bigger, this end is being used up and coming up shorter. And if this was tied off on this end here, this would be getting tighter and tighter. And then if I wanted to loosen this, you see, by sliding it forwards, now the loop will go down as small as I want it to. And that is the taut line hitch. Um, it's uh, not a bad little knot, but uh, I remember having a situation where I tied this uh, in some of the cheap twine like you get at the hardware store to tie your lumber down. Uh, and it did not grip very well. I was trying to tighten a canopy. And uh, so I kind of researched things at the time and found a knot that works a little bit better. It grips better uh, for that purpose. And uh, it's called the adjustable grip hitch. And it's tied almost identically with just little, one little difference. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie the adjustable grip hitch and show you how it works. I'm gonna go around once again. Here's my, my standing end. And there's my working end. And I'm gonna go around twice, just like before. And can I make those loops neat okay now instead of coming around up here above the knot i'm just going to go around both of these lines and through this hole right here which it makes as i come around now when i snug that up that is the adjustable grip hitch and it grabs even though it's not as uh, neatly dressed looking as the taut line hitch, it grabs much better. I think that uh, this rope pulling on this loop kind of puts extra pressure on these two bends and turns them this way so that they bite into the rope a little bit better. And uh, But anyway, that is also easily adjusted, as you can see, just like the taut line. But in fact, I've got it tied looser than I did that taut line, and it's gripping better. So that is another uh, nice little adjustable hitch. One of the things that you have to watch out for that particular knot, if you're tying it around something very big and wide, you can see that this kind of 
breaks down this part right here and it doesn't work then as well. Uh, so uh, for tying around something wide, you'd probably want to use something different. Um, so I'm going to make this a lot, make stretch this out. so that I can get closer to the end of my rope. And now I'm going to show you the third one. Uh, this knot would be tied in a different scenario. Um, say, for instance, you fell off a moving ship and there's a rope trailing behind it, and you grab hold of that rope and you're thinking, I want to you know, hang on uh, and get rescued. But you can only hang on for so long, and uh, that water puts more pressure on you than you think. And it might be cold. You could be risking hypothermia. Uh, typically, when you want to tie a rope around yourself, you don't want a loop that's going to constrict uh, because that could be very dangerous. It could kill you. And uh, so what you think you would like to tie is a bowline. And in fact, people talk about tying a one-handed bowline so that they don't have to worry about hanging on. But if you're under a load and you're pulling your, your weight is being pulled on this rope, you can't form that loop to start your bowling. So what was recommended in this case is called the midshipman's hitch. I'm going to take this rope and run it around myself and show you how to tie the midshipman's hitch. So I'm, I'm down here and I've got weight. I'm pulling pretty good and hard on this rope and I've got it around myself. I'm not, uh, so, and I'm going to tie it much the same. It starts out almost identical to the, uh, to the taut line hitch. You come around once and you're going to come around a second time. But when you come around that second time, you're going to pull up against this rope here and pull and you form what is called an awning hitch. And you can see now that rope is inside and it kind of locks in. So I've never taken pressure off of this rope. But uh, in fact, I'm leaning even harder on it and, and it takes very little pressure at all for that to hold and keep from sliding. And now to finish that knot, I'm just gonna come around like you would at the end of your of your taut line hitch around the top and through the hole. Okay, keep going in the same direction. Snug that up, and now I can be hands free and being dragged along behind that boat, and I'm not slipping. The rope isn't gonna gonna collapse on me, and it's a safe knot, uh, and for that purpose. And in addition to that, if I do need to adjust this knot, this knot works as an adjustable grip hitch. It's just the same. See, I can move that up and down the rope by releasing some of that pressure, pulling either this way or this way. But yet, when I put some pressure on it, it grips. And uh, anyway, that is the taut line hitch. Uh, it's also a really nice knot. It's what a lot of people feel should have been taught in the first place to the Boy Scouts. It's the Midshipman's Hitch. And uh, those are the three knots that I wanted to show today. I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll be back again with another knot sometime soon, hopefully. Thank you.